Today we are reviewing this piece of metal, which is called um, Amminer E3. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to your Mining Hardware channel and thanks for tuning in for this video. Um, so we are reviewing the Amminer E3 uh, from Bitmain. Um, we're just gonna go through as usual um, what it has in the packaging, um, uh, what kind of hash rate it gets, what kind of power uses. Um, I'm pretty sure that Bitmain usually does this very accurate and it says on the website what it does. So let's go in and look uh, what's in this box and how the miner is packed. So yeah, Unminer E3 is for Adhash algorithms, so you can mine currencies like uh, Ethereum, uh, Monero, oh, sorry, not Monero, <laughs> Ethereum Classic, um, I think Komodo, UBQ, and some other coins. Um, it has a user manual inside, as usual, uh, just a little bit bigger than the uh, rest of them. Uh, usually is on one page for the other miners. Uh, it has some kind of certification that uh, it says it's uh, it, the test results pass for the usage. Um, so it's, it's packed very well as usual to not get damage in the shipping. Uh, it has the soft pads around it. And it's uh, wrapped also <laughs> into the bubble wrap. Um, so let's check what's inside. It's quite heavy. Um, it's much heavier than the like uh, online or S9 or some other. It could be about maybe around 10 kilos, maybe more. It's about the size of two S9s. Uh, put um, each one of them on top of other. So we can see um, it does have three uh, hashing boards. Um, uh, two six-pin connections for each and one six-pin connection for a control board. Um, there's two cooling fans on the front. Um, there's no cooling fans at the back. So I assume um, they doesn't use as much power and the, the chips doesn't overheat as much. Oh yeah, it's nothing spectacular um, as any other, other uh, ASIC miners, you know, a uh, piece of metal. <laughs> Right, so uh, let's go and turn on this miner and see uh, what it does and how, how, how it is his performance. And we make, uh, might take a look after inside, what's inside, uh, what kind of chips and what does it use uh, to get it working on Edhash uh, mining algorithm. As you know, everybody was saying that uh, Edhash mining algorithm is ASIC proof. Uh, it's not possible to make an ASIC miners, but there it is. Okay, I do have up and running this miner. Um, it is hashing. Um, I have connected this to Ethermine and it's hashing from uh, 190 to 210 uh, mega hashes. Um, we're getting out from this. So again, Bitmain usually put the specification right. Um, so I will show you what's the, what's the power usage. You can see it uses uh, 740 watts of uh, power from the wall, which is not too bad at the current hash rate. Um, but, but yeah, a GPU mining rig, you can get um, about the same hash rate, um, nearly the same power use, which I think um, at the current price of the Bitmain, what sells the Antminer E3, um, I rather would choose a GPU miner. But it's totally up to yourself, you know. I'm just here to provide you information. Um, I will show you, it, to connect it's very easy. It's the same way as other unminers. Um, you just get the uh, IP address from the miner. Uh, there's the IP uh, report button. You just download the IP report button, uh, the tool, uh, and then track the uh, miner IP address. Um, so you can see it. I have it running on 205 mega hashes currently. Um, so it's, it's going up and down all the time from 190 to uh, uh, 210. Um, I'm mining here for one hour and 18 minutes and I have got um, 225 shares, which 
which is about the same as a GPU mining rig. 200 meg has GPU mining rig in an hour gets about uh, somewhere 180, 190 uh, shares on the average. Um, yeah, and I was, I was, yeah, um, and the configuration you just put the, um, in the first box where's the URL, you put the mining, uh, mining pool uh, URL, um, so the server address, and the, the second where's the user, you just put in your wallet info, and that will connect to your, um, to your pool. But the one thing I couldn't figure out, um, how to create a username for it, for Ethermine, because um, it's showing some weird numbers as a username. Um, I tried to overclock. Um, there is a hidden page uh, where you can, uh, I don't know, you can maybe overclock, but not. But I, I was trying all kind of uh, settings, and uh, this didn't work for me. So the hash rate didn't change if I tried different settings. I, I tried 700 megahertz, uh, but it didn't work. Um, as I can see, the frequency is at 1,600 megahertz, but the biggest here uh, at the uh, so I lost it somewhere. Yeah. Okay, and now let's see uh, let's see uh, what's inside the Unminer E3. Uh, what Bitmain does really use to get an ASIC miner working for Ethereum. Okay, let's check out and see what uh, Unminer E3 has in his belly. Um, so tr let's first disconnect these cables, which are attached to the hashing board. Uh, probably need only one. Uh, there's, a, there's a warranty uh, tape. So if you remove this, Bitmain cancels your warranty, but who cares? <laughs> let's see what's inside better. Yeah, the back plate mounts on six screws, which we have removed. And there it is, three hashing boards. I think they should put slide out easy. Yeah, they do slide out very easy. This is how they look. Yeah, I can see the RAM here. Memory, um, I assume that the chips are behind these uh, coolers. And I think if, hopefully we can remove this one of them. And I'm not really sure how to, but I'll try anyway. There's a small tip in the other side, I think, which doesn't allow me to remove this cooler. I'll squeeze it and just take it out. Seems like one of them doesn't want to come. Don't you worry, I'll get you out. Yeah, this is out also. There's one more left. Okay. Which one was that? Which I did remove. Oh, this one I didn't need. Just push it back in. Doesn't come off. A little bit. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, now it's off. I think we're going to remove the cooler also. Okay, that's done now. Cooler come off. Yeah, it's off now. Yeah, we have a RAM. This is the DDR3 RAM. How many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 32 all, all together, um, 128 bits each. Um, so it's four gigabyte RAM total for one chip. Um, so probably to be enough for uh, Ethereum DAG file size. Um, so DDR3, I just get something to clean off the. Um, to get off the paste from the uh, CPU. Okay, you can see it is um, Unminer BM1790 um, processor. Um, well, you can probably Google uh, what is this. Um, probably Unminer uh, does manufacture them uh, themselves, as they usually do for the most of the chips. So there's um, six chips for each board. Um, there's three boards all together and uh, 18 chips, yeah, 18 chips for one miner, which uh, on average uh, one produces somewhere 18, I think 10, 10 mega hash, yeah, 18, yeah, 18 chips each uh, produce uh, 10 mega hash. Yeah, you get 180 mega hash total for the board. Okay, um, this was the, the full review on the N-Miner E3. I think, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, so we checked it outside, inside, and the hashing speed and everything. Um, so it's, it's your choice what you want to do, you know, if you want to buy N-Miner E3 or build a GPU rig. I do prefer a GPU. I do prefer more decentralized. Um, because uh, like uh, there's really I don't think there is any point to buy a E3 miner if it's not a more powerful than the uh, uh, than the GPU rig, which approximately costs the same. Uh, you can get a 180 uh, mega hash mining rig from six RX 570s at around 700 750 watts of power. Uh, so that's about the same um, as you get the uh, uh, unminer E3. Um, so I don't see any point. Um, yeah, and. Uh, there's a good thing about 8-hash algorithm, so it's, it's the, the worst for the ASIC miners. Seems like there's uh, no really a ch very cheap way to build an ASIC miner for the uh, Ethereum, uh, which could uh, do uh, like a hash rate, like for example the uh, Z9 miner, which can do uh, a lot more efficient than a GPU rig and cost a lot less. Um, so that's, that's a good thing, what I like about the 8-hash um, algorithm. Um, thanks for tuning in, uh, guys, for this video. Uh, like, the, like the video if you uh, did like it. If you found value, uh, share with your friends. And also, have a productive day. And see you on the next video. Bye. Yeah, I, I forgot. We have also a Discord channel. You can come on and uh, join us and uh, uh, do some talks. Maybe we can figure out how to overclock this miner. Bye.